I'd like to talk today about the topics of love, tolerance, and acceptance. Um, I am an advocate of real tolerance. I believe that people should exist among people of differing opinions in peace and harmony. I believe that differences can be discussed. Yes, you can reach a point where you've said you've said your opinion and they've said their opinion and you understand each other very well and neither of you is convinced um, that the other person is right and then you agree to disagree and that's fine I think that's very mature but I think what is immature is being unable to discuss the differences um, because that that leads to more that leads to uh, miscommunication, it leads to mistrust, it leads to hatred, fear, uh, it leads to more harm and more hurt. And I think that problems should be able to be openly discussed and that people should be able to, and I even think, I don't think there's anything wrong with a heated argument. I don't think there's anything wrong with both parties being angry at each other and um and and even becoming emotional about it i i think emotion is definitely part of the human experience to deny your emotion is to deny who you are and i don't i don't think anyone should do that i don't i don't think you should you should pretend not to be angry when you really are angry uh, express your anger just as you express your happiness and your joy and your love and any other emotion that you might feel express it but what is entirely inappropriate is when the conversation becomes personal. When you're discussing ideas, concepts, actions, morality, things like that, um, when it's objective, that's okay. That's fine. And, and I can say that there's nothing wrong with being gay, and you can say that being gay is evil, and that's fine. And I can get mad at you for disagreeing with me, and you can get mad at me for disagreeing with you, and that's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But if I start calling you names, if I start threatening your life because we disagree, that is entirely uncalled for. That is completely inappropriate. And I just want to make it clear that I do not advocate such behavior. Um, you know, if you, if you want to think that, uh, that homosexuality is evil, that's fine. But don't call me evil because I'm gay. Don't don't call me a faggot. Don't don't call me names. Don't threaten me. Don't say you're going to hell. Don't say any such things. That's that's inappropriate. That's rude. It's inconsiderate, and it's a personal attack. And I, I don't think there's any place for that. I don't think there's any place at all. I think that people should be able to exist with others that disagree, in peace and harmony. That you should be able to understand another person's perspective, to listen to another person's perspective, to understand it, and and to be okay that they feel that way because they're entitled to their own opinion just as much as you are. And and I don't think it's appropriate. I do not think it's appropriate to tell someone that they need to die. I do not think it's appropriate to call somebody a name, to call them evil, to. Um, to have as a purpose making somebody feel inferior, evil, or, you know, to just to hurt their feelings. That, that there's no value in that. None at all. And if you can't coexist with people that disagree with you, you're going to be very miserable in life. I, I'm perfectly fine with people, even in my own family, who say that homosexual behavior is evil, that it is against the will of God, and um, that it is sin. I'm okay with that because they're entitled to their own opinion. And fortunately, their, own opinion, their opinion doesn't have to be my opinion. I don't have to adopt it. And I don't think there's anything wrong with homosexuality. I don't think I'm sinning. Um, I, I think that I have more true happiness and joy at this point in my life being with a man than I have at any point previous in my life. 
and and that's enough for me. I'm happy, and Conrad's happy, and we're happy together. And and I don't need the approval of other people. I don't need other people to agree with me that that I'm right, that homosexuality is okay. I don't need that because I know for myself that that's how I feel. That's my own view. And that's all I need. So I I don't lash out at other people. I don't... I don't think it's okay to to be cruel to others simply because they disagree with me. Yeah, I might get angry. I might get angry. And I might say, you know, I think this is foolishness that you're saying. But calling an idea foolish is different than calling a person foolish. I don't think anyone in my family is foolish. I really don't. I think... Pretty much everybody, I mean, everybody, not pretty much, everybody in my family is intelligent. They really are. And and they, um, they're smart people. No, they didn't all go into academia like me, but that's not what all smart people do. They do their own thing, and uh, and they're very smart at what they do. I don't think they're foolish just because they disagree with me. I might think that some of the things they believe are foolish. That's different. I think that, I, I mean, I advocate true tolerance. Not just tolerance of people that agree with me. I'm not just going to be nice to you only if you say what I want you to say. I'm, I'm going to be nice to you even if you disagree with me. I have lots of friends that have told me that I'm sinning by being gay, or by being in a relationship with a man. And I'm still friends with them. That's their opinion, and they're entitled to have that opinion. If I deny them the right to have their own opinion, what kind of friend am I? I'm not tolerating them. If I want them to accept me, and to tolerate me, and to be my friend in spite of the fact that they think I'm evil, or that what I'm doing is evil, whichever way you want to word it, If I want that kind of tolerance from them, I need to give that kind of tolerance. And I, and I believe that I do. I try to. And I'm sure I could improve. But I definitely try to give people the, uh, the room to believe what they will, to say their opinion. I think everybody has the right to voice their opinions, even if they're contrary to mine. I do not believe that people have the right to push their opinions on others or to use violence or threats of violence to enforce their opinions onto other people. Do not believe it's appropriate to say that you're going to hit another person or kill them or that you wish that they would die. This is entirely inappropriate. And I have to admit, anyone that thinks that this kind of behavior is okay is no friend of mine. I, I will not tolerate such behavior. No matter, no matter who the victim is, whether, whether it's a religious person that's attacking someone that they think is evil, or whether it's a homosexual person attacking somebody that calls them evil, or somebody that believes that homosexuality is evil. I, I don't think it's appropriate. And uh, I'm, I'm a pacifist. I really am. I don't think we should go to war. I think that we can resolve things more peaceably. I think all of the current wars that we're in are ridiculous anyway, but that's beside the point. I, I'm a pacifist, and I think people should get along. I think people should be peaceful and happy. Um, you know, disagree with each other, get mad, uh, but... But be happy that you're allowed to do that. And be happy that you're allowed to have your own opinion and other people are allowed to have their own opinion. And they might not agree with you. But be happy that they can disagree because that means you can disagree. And that, that's, I mean, that's really all I have to say. Just love people and, and tolerate. Tolerate other people. Respect the other people have their beliefs, have their opinions, have their own values, and that's fine. And 
That's it. Just be happy, love, acceptance, tolerance. Pretty simple. <laughs>